This is magnetic putty, a non-Newtonian fluid embedded with filings of iron or steel. Its name may be a misnomer, by itself it's not magnetic, but because of its ferromagnetic flex, it will adhere to a magnet with ease. Because of its fluid-like nature, it can provide insight into magnetics. Here, I'm using a very powerful neodymium magnet from a computer hard drive to draw the magnetic flex into alignment with the rare earth magnet's magnetic field. The force is so strong that it shapes the putty in real time, allowing us to see the forces acting on the putty, compared to the force of gravity alone acting on the blob behind. While the putty is not by itself naturally magnetic, it is a fantastic analog to understanding how to make a magnet. While the ferromagnetic material, such as iron, steel, or neodymium iron boron, is in a semi-solid state, it is exposed to a powerful magnetic field, often from an electromagnet. The internal magnetic dipoles align with the applied field, all of the norths facing one direction and the souths facing another. Remove the applied magnetic field and the new solid retains its magnetic properties. But, randomize the orientation of the dipoles again and the material's ingrained magnetism is lost. For Tech Laboratories, I'm Tech Adams, saying keep thinking and thanks for watching.